Hey Taurus, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nelly, aka Owl Tarot. Guys, thank you for joining me for your weekly reading. We're going to go ahead and tap into the energy of what's coming towards you this upcoming week in love. Before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click on that notification bell so you can be notified when I post new readings. If you're a returning subscriber, guys, thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate every single one of you guys. Alrighty guys, as you all know, my readings are meant to be timeless general love readings, so it may or may not resonate with you. Please please take what does, leave the rest behind. As you all know, time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it, and there is no gender in tarot, guys, so reverse the roles as need be. Do not forget to check your other placements, guys, so you get a better understanding of this energy. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. All right, guys, let's get started here. I went ahead and I pulled your oracle card. I prayed, I meditated, and I've asked the universe what is coming towards you this week. And I have the dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. There's going to be some things that are going to be coming towards you this week and that you, you have to receive with a grain of salt is what I'm hearing. Be lighthearted. Don't don't let these things affect you any more than they need to. Okay. Understand the situation. And remember, you guys can always change your outcome. Okay. You guys can always change your outcome by the way you think. Heal yourself. Okay. All right. Things are finally that's starting to come out. I don't know why I just heard. For some of you guys, you're going to realize that you honestly miss somebody. You are in love with that person. So I don't know why I had to say that, but for some of you guys, for a handful of you guys, when some of you guys are going to realize that the person that you were with the most recent is the one that, no, not the most recent. There's going to be a person in your life that you, that, that meant a lot to you. And that's the one that you're going to realize that you're actually in love with, but you broke up with them or they broke up with you. But let's see here. Universe, what's coming towards Taurus this upcoming weekend? I mean, week. I apologize. What's coming towards Taurus this upcoming week? Yep, someone that you haven't been in communication with. Someone with the eight of fires here. There's been some lack of communication between you and this person. Something's coming out. With the queen of water here, I feel that somebody feels that the other person no longer has love in this connection. But what's going on is because due to the lack of communication, somebody pulled their feelings out because they were tired of being hurt, whether it was you or your person, Taurus, okay? What else? What else is coming to us in this week? With the three of airs, you guys are healing from a heartbreak. With that's the three of wands. I mean three of three of swords. You guys are healing from a heartbreak, okay? I feel that there hasn't been any communication. You possibly are dealing with the water sign. Can be um what is it? Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, maybe. But this person that you're dealing with pulled their emotions out of this connection because there was no communication, at least no solid communication. There was a lot of heartache in this connection between you and this person. So I told you, it's going to be somebody that you honestly know that you really went through it is whom, whom you're coming to realization that you're in love with or vice versa. Okay? Or it could be your person coming to that realization. Yep. The hangman. I have the hangman here. The, something was stuck in this connection and it's starting to wiggle out. It's starting to move. Okay, things are starting to be shook in here. Why? Because with the four of four of coins and or four earth, four of coins, somebody is not trying to hold on to the past anymore. Okay. To the past behaviors, to the past situations, to the past arguments. Somebody's trying to release that with the hangman here. Somebody's gotten enlightened in regards to this person. Okay. It could be you, Taurus, or it could be your person. I just seen the Six of Cups. Definitely has to do with a past person. A significant relationship you had here. I had to tell you that. What else here? You probably lived with this person, Taurus. I don't know. But it's someone that you could have lived with. Someone that you were in a higher level coming in here. <clears throat> with the Three of Waters, definitely somebody wants to come into a reconciliation. There's some celebration coming towards you. With the mess messenger of water, there's going to be an apology that's going to be presented in this connection here. But somebody's be being very impatient with the patience card in the reverse. Somebody is not trying to allow the universe, allow divine timing, allow to take control of the situation. But you must. You must pull back and you must allow things to happen when they're getting ready to happen. Let's see here. What else here for Taurus? What else is coming up for Taurus this weekend? Yep, there's a lot of things that are going to be... They're going to be enlightened this week. 
with the five of air here i feel that there's going to be some type of 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 enlightenment into past behavior somebody here was being very deceptive somebody was possibly cheating um they were just only worried about themselves and no one else is what i'm getting here there was obstacles in this connection people were in the way in this connection other parties i feel let's see who that was. okay but here it goes guys somebody's it this came out in the it came out sideways there's a call. There's some type of form of communication, I feel, here. There's a judgment call that's being made here. Okay, somebody's coming to... Somebody's being enlightened. Enlightened that, that there's there's some clarity that has to come into this connection. There's a wake-up call. Somebody's got, having this aha moment as we speak, okay? It can be you, Taurus, or it can be your person, okay? But somebody's getting this awakening where, like, okay, like, oh, damn, I fucked it up with my, with my Taurus, or vice versa messenger of earth here there's going to be a gift that was it's going to be brought to you some how do they say uh peace uh, when they try to bring some form of uh, a gift to to try to get peace between both you guys is what i'm trying to say it'll come to me in a bit with the three of fires with the three of wands here somebody's definitely planning and plotting waiting for the, the ships to come in but there is a plan and works already to start moving forward in this connection and start this communication process where things are going to start becoming in light i feel for a lot of you tourists there's going to be things that are going to communicate that are going to allow you to heal, that are going to change the circumstances in this connection. And, and you guys must adapt because there's going to be things that are going to be coming out. And you might not like uh, like what this person has to say to you, or this person may not like what you have to say to them, but you have to try to meet them halfway here. With the Nine of Waters here, um, you're definitely someone's wish fulfillment or someone is your wish fulfillment, okay? With the moon, there's still a lot. There's still this came out in the reverse, guys. Okay, there's still some com communication, some information that still needs to be relayed here, and that's why I think things are coming to the light with your with your oracle. Those are the things that are gonna be known this upcoming week. There's gonna be conversations where things are gonna be known. Somebody may not like that because it may cause a lot of sadness with the five of waters the five of cups is going to cause a lot of sadness possibly depression but these things need to be communicated because if you don't talk you guys are never going to know how to move on from this with the nine of air somebody is definitely coming out of this um this depressed anxiety sleepless night energy somebody started like i said someone is getting enlightened in this connection where where they're starting to feel like okay i have to relate this to my taurus or or I have to relate this to my person, let them know what's going on and, and leave it in God's hands already and see what happens. But there's going to be a lot of conversation, may cause some heartache here, but it's it's been needed to have with the seven of, with the seven of earth here, which is the seven of pentacles. Um, Somebody is definitely thinking about the past. They're being patient. They're working hard. They're kind of being patient with the patience here in the reverse and with the seven of earth. Someone is being patient. Someone is planning, thinking about the past, planning the future. Someone is definitely trying to be very patient in this energy right now. What else for Taurus universe? What else do we have for Taurus here? I've seen this card. This is the third time I've seen this card. This, this ten of air. There's going to be some burdens that are going to be brought up in this connection. Things that are going to be said are going to feel so burdensome, but it's time for a transformation. And you definitely in a higher level commitment with this person, but it's time for a transformation. Here. But these things have to be communicated and somebody feels burdened by not communicating this information towards you or that's you towards them. Towards, okay, but this needs to be released. What else? With the three of earth here, somebody is definitely wanting to put the work into this connection now. Or somebody is just working a lot here with the queen of air in the in the reverse i feel that somebody has been for a while was was kind of blocked mentally not looking at what was going on around them and and you're becoming released you're, you're starting to come into this clarity you're starting to come into this awakening where you're starting to realize where past mistakes were made and what needs to be fixed here in this connection what else what else here for Taurus universe <clears throat> And the hermit, somebody is lonely, somebody's sad, somebody feels left out. But somebody wants to come out of that sad, that sad 
energy, okay? That loneliness energy with the tower and the upright. This is going to be a tower moment. Whomever reaches out first, whether it's your person or it's yourself, is going to feel like a tower moment, but this is a needed change. This whole experience was a tower moment. It needed to happen in order for you guys to understand each other and understand where this connection was going to lead to. <clears throat> with the fool here, definitely someone is ready to take this leap of faith because they want a new beginning with you and they're ready to come forward with this page of earth and make this offer because they don't want you to walk away or you don't want them to walk away, okay? All right, any more advice here? Any more? Anything else for Taurus? Okay, final card here. And the two of fire, definitely. Somebody's at that crossroad right now making the decision because they want the stable new beginning. So they're contemplating, they're planning and planning how to go ahead and do this, okay? All right, they're just kind of planning it out with the two of fire here, but haven't made that decision just yet. But they definitely know that they want this new beginning. They're at the crossroad. Do I want to take, do I want to move forward and speak to my person for this possible reunion, with this possible reconciliation for this new beginning, or should I keep on moving? That's where somebody's at right now, okay? Let's get you some um, advice from the Romance Angels, so we'll go ahead and close out your reading. What does Taurus need to know for this upcoming week? Soulmate. This person is your soulmate, okay? Yes, this, this is your soulmate, okay? So you're dealing with a soulmate here. I don't feel it's a karmic soulmate. I feel that this is the soulmate, the person that you want to be with, the person that makes you happy is whom you're dealing with. Healing, I'm sorry, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feeling with each other. Double confirmation. There's going to be some type of formal conversation this weekend coming up where there's going to be a lot of things said, but it's going to heal. It's going to hurt and it's going to heal at the same time. Things are getting ready to change. And they're asking you to adapt to these changes. And one more else. Well, one more, please. <laughs> and this is a new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. But it came out in the reverse. So I don't feel that this is a new person. This is definitely a past person that you're going to be dealing with this upcoming week. Okay, Taurus? I hope this resonates for you guys. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you would like to book a personal reading, guys, the information is in the description box below. Otherwise, have an awesome week. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.